find i di by dt and d square i by dt square at t equal to 0 plus. Assume that capacitor is initially uncharged. In this circuit, we are supposed to calculate current, its first derivative and its second derivative at t equal to 0 plus. We know that t equal to 0 plus is the period immediately after closing the switch and t equal to 0 minus is the period just before closing the switch. After long time after closing the switch, we can take t equal to so in this example, we are supposed to calculate the current, its first derivative and its second derivative immediately after closing the switch that is at t equal to 0 plus. The first step is apply KVL to the given circuit assuming switch is closed and considering all the elements are present. I will apply KVL to this loop. given circuit so that is 10 is equal to voltage across 10 ohm register is i into 10 plus voltage across inductor is l di by dt plus voltage across capacitor is 1 over c integration of i into dt we'll call it as equation number 1 so here we can consider either just t or we can take it as i of t. So we can write it as 10 is equal to 10 into i of t plus l d i of t by dt plus 1 over c i of t by i of t into dt. Both are correct. So I will take the t. Assume that current i of t is flowing into the circuit. I will rewrite the equation as 10 i of t plus l d i of t by dt plus 1 over c integration of i of t into dt. So, we will call it as equation number. Now, we will see the behavior of register, inductor and capacitor after closing the switch that is at time t equal to 0 plus. Let us draw the circuit at t equal to 0 plus. See, we know that at t equal to 0 plus Register behavior is same. Inductor acts like open circuit. That is inductor acts like open circuit. Whereas capacitor acts like short circuit. Now, Considering these two conditions, I will redraw the circuit at t equal to 0 plus. The given circuit below. So here I will close the switch. Register should present as it is. Now inductor acts like open circuit. I will in place of inductor place, I will open it and the capacitor should act like short circuit. I will short here. So this is open circuit which is nothing but inductor and short circuit is capacitor. So here I will connect the as it is the 10 volt source and I will assume that current I of T is flowing. Now we know that after closing the switch, the value of t is equal to 0 plus. I can write it as i of 0 plus. Therefore, now I can say in this current, in this circuit, the circuit is open here. It means that the current in the circuit is 0 because of open circuit. So, the current in the, cir current in the circuit is i of 0 plus because the time is t equal to 0 plus. Therefore, i of 0 plus is equal to 0. I will call it as equation number 2.
Now, in the problem, it is said that assume that the capacitor is initially uncharged. It means that the voltage across capacitor is initially uncharged. It means that Vc of 0 minus, we know that 0 minus is the time, 0 minus is the time before closing the switch. So, voltage across capacitor before closing the switch, that is, initially its value is 0 volt. Okay, and we know that Vc of 0 minus is equal to Vc of 0 plus. It means that the voltage across capacitor before closing the switch is same as immediately after closing the switch. Now let's substitute I of 0 which is equal to 0 in equation number 1. I'll rewrite equation number 1 now. That is 10 is equal to 10 into I of t. I of t is nothing but I of 0 plus now because we are considering the time t is equal to 0 plus. I will write the equation once again considering t equal to 0 plus so that you can understand easily. 10 into I of 0 plus plus L d I of 0 plus by dt plus 1 over c integration of I of 0 plus into dt. So now I will substitute 10 is equal to 10 into I of 0 plus is 0 plus L. Now we should not make this 0 because we need to calculate di of 0 plus by dt. Keep this term as it is di of 0 plus by dt plus. So here we should understand that 1 over c integration of i of 0 plus dt is nothing but voltage across capacitor. So this term is Vc of 0 plus that is voltage across capacitor. The voltage across capacitor after closing the switch is same as voltage across capacitor before closing the switch that is Vc of 0 plus is equal to Vc of 0 minus and it is said that Capacitor is initially uncharged. It means Vc of 0 minus is 0. Therefore, this term is 0. Now, simplifying this, I'll write here 10 is equal to 0 plus L di of 0 plus by dt. Now, therefore, di of 0 plus by dt is equal to 10 by L. Therefore, di of 0 plus by dt is equal to 10 divided by the value of L is 1 which is equal to 10 ampere per second. This is di of 0 plus by dt. Now let's calculate second derivative of current. Now observe the first equation or this equation. This is same as the first equation. That is 10 equal to 10 i of 0 plus L d i of 0 plus by dt plus 1 over c i of 0 plus into dt. So now I need the term d square that is second derivative of current. So, in this equation, the first derivative of current is available that is this term that is L di of 0 plus by dt. So, now if I differentiate this entire equation, then definitely I will get a second derivative of this equation. So, now I will uh, take the first derivation of this equation. I will call, call this equation as say equation A. Now, I will take the derivation of equation A. Here, I will rewrite equation A for reference. That is 10 is equal to 10 into I of 0 plus plus L d I of 0 plus by dt plus 1 over C integration of I of 0 plus into dt. Now, differentiate 
अबो इक्वेशन सो डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ कांस्टेंट इज जीरो इज इक्वल टू टेन इनटू डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ आई ऑफ जीरो प्लस इज डी आई ऑफ जीरो प्लस बाय डी टी प्लस डिफरेंशिएशन ऑफ दिस इज यल इज कांस्टेंट कीप इट एज इट इज डी स्क्वायर आई ऑफ जीरो प्लस बाय डी टी स्क्वायर प्लस इंटीग्रेशन डिफरेंशिएशन विल गेट कैंसल विल गेट i of 0 plus divided by c now substitute the values of di of 0 plus by dt and i of 0 plus that is 0 equal to 10 into di of 0 plus by dt is nothing but 10 that we already found plus value of l is 1 into d square i of 0 plus by dt square plus i of 0 plus is 0 so it is 0 Therefore, I can write d square i of 0 plus by dt square is equal to minus 100 amperes per second square. So, this is the required solution. Therefore, I can write i of 0 plus is equal to 0. First derivative of current is equal to 10 amperes per second and d square i of 0 plus by dt square equal to minus 100 amperes per second square. This is the required solution. Thank you.